It's Coach Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top three ways that you can make smarter decisions with the puck. One, know your options before you get the puck on your stick, okay? Take a quick look. A lot of times, you have the opportunity to scan the ice, to know the ice, to take a quick peek. If you're going to pick up a loose puck before you get a pass, take a quick look and have your feet in the right position. So don't just be staring, looking backwards at your net. Make sure you're turning your feet towards the ice, up ice, so that you can take a quick look and know what your options are before you get the puck. You're gonna be able to read pressure coming from the other team. You're gonna be able to see where your players are. So just a quick glance and just using your peripheral vision is gonna give you a better idea of what to do with that puck and what your options are gonna be before you get to it and that's gonna allow you to make a smarter decision. Two. Know your safety options. Know what that safe play is that you can make. Because if you know that safe play, then that's gonna be your default. So whether it's getting the puck deep, whether it's using the boards, whether it's wrapping the puck, whatever that safe option, sometimes it might even be a shot on net. So maybe you're looking for that pass across or that pass to the trailer. If that option's not there and the play collapses on you, make that safe play quick, okay? So know what that safe option is in every situation, in breakouts, in neutral zone regroups, in line rushes, as you're attacking the offensive zone, know what the safe option is is for that puck carrier at when you're that puck carrier. So that way, as you get pressure, as that play collapses, you can have your head up. You can look to make that play. And if things don't develop the way you want, you have that safe option. What happens is a lot of players don't know that safety option. So what happens when the play collapses? What happens when the play you know, collapses on them and they don't have options and they don't see the play they want is they panic with the puck and they just throw it. Okay, and that's a stupid decision. Or they try to stick handle through the guy and they end up getting knocked off the puck and turning it over. So know what your safe option is in every situation. So if the play doesn't develop the way you want, if you don't see the option, if you don't have options, you make that safe option, you make it quick, you can make it without thinking because you've already studied it and learned it, and then you're gonna make smarter decisions in those situations, and it's gonna give you the confidence to look for other plays. It's gonna give you the confidence to have more patience because you're gonna know you have that safe option. Three, handle the puck with your head up. You gotta build enough skills and enough confidence with that puck on your stick that you can handle it with your head up. You look at the top players in the NHL, you look at the top players in their game, they can handle that puck with their head up. They don't have to look down, they're not worried about losing it, and that's gonna allow them to have more confidence. If you're not thinking about losing the puck, if you can make plays and make moves and stick handle the puck in tight areas without having to stare at it, you're gonna be having more confidence, you're gonna be able to read the ice better, you're gonna be able to make smarter decisions. The problem is if you're so worried about losing that puck, if you're so worried about catching passes that you have to look down and you have to really focus and control that puck, you're never gonna be able to make smart plays with that puck because by the time you get your head up and by the time you can look, the play's gonna collapse on you, the defenders are gonna collapse on you. You have to build elite level puck handling skills without staring at that puck. And obviously in tight areas, in certain areas, you're gonna have to look down, you're gonna have to glance down, but the less you can stare down at the puck, the more you can read the ice, the more that you can see the play. So work on handling the puck with your head up, work on it off the ice, spend hours on that in different situations, moving your feet forwards and backwards, transitioning with one hand on your stick, using that toilet paper roll with your bottom hand, every single situation work on handling that puck with your head up so that you can learn how to be an elite level stick handler without having to stare at that puck and it's gonna allow you to read the ice, learn the play, and you're gonna have a lot more confidence and you're gonna be able to make a lot better decisions. I put together a free three-day stick handling challenge, all right? For three days, we're gonna take you through intense off-ice drills to help you build those skills that you need to make better decisions, to have more confidence with the puck, to handle the puck with your head up. Go to 247hockey.com slash skill. There'll be a link in the description of this video. So go to the description, it'll be the very top link. There's also gonna be a link in the comments. I'll pin the top comment with a link. It's a three day stick handling challenge. So over the course of three days, we're gonna work on your stick handling. We're gonna give you intense hockey specific and position specific drills. And we're gonna work on those skills that a lot of players ignore because they don't know how to train them the right way, okay? So there's gonna be different drills than you're used to and it's gonna push you out of your comfort zone. So for three days, we're gonna take you through a stick handling boot camp 
to improve your skills and your stick handling with the goal of making better decisions and having more confidence with that puck. Hey, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get subscribed right now. Make sure you get notified for new videos. Turn on those subscribe notifications and make sure you hit that subscribe button right now if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think players need to do to make smarter decisions with the puck. So I want your opinion. Leave me a comment. Let me know what do you think players need to do in a game to make smart decisions with that puck. It's Coach Zach, head coach here at 24-7 Hockey, signing off. Remember, elite hockey players aren't born, they're made. So go out there, train hard, and make yourself into an elite hockey player.